Ed Miliband in the MPs and MEPs section received 15.522%, in the members section 15.198%, and in the affiliates 19.934%. So we have the final result as closely a fault battle as many predicted at a knife edge right into that last round. David Miliband losing out to his brother Ed, 49% to 51. Nick Robinson. That'll teach me. <laughs> the key thing that we learned though from that outcome, and it is something that made all into Miliband, he won because he overwhelmingly won the unions and affiliated section. His brother David beat him in the MP section, beat him amongst party members, but lost significantly amongst union and affiliated members. And that in the end meant that that early round that looked good for David turned into something good for Ed. That's why we didn't call it, but I went, I went mighty close to making a burk of myself. <laughs> and interesting that if we look at the division, if you like, between the Electoral College made up of MPs and that of unions, this is gonna be an interesting quandary. Too early to say uh, a first problem because Ed, Ed Miliband's are only five seconds into the announcement that he is the new Labour leader. Let's listen in. Conference, can I start by thanking you for the amazing honour that you have given me I first joined this party at the age of 17. Never in my wildest imagination did I believe that I would one day lead this party. You have put your trust in me and I am determined to repay that trust to you. Every hour of every day of my leadership I will seek to repay that trust. And the first way I need to repay that trust is by uniting our party and taking it forward together. 